What happens to our body when we're in an ancient Greek temple? This is translated from Greek, the extraordinary world. If one visits an energy space, most of them are, of course, built on ley lines. All Greek sanctuaries are energy spaces. You realize the sanctity of space and wish to see something supernatural, and your spirit causes intense vibrations of ionic energy in the brain and the consciousness. If one visits such an energy space, all Greek sanctuaries are energy spaces, you realize the sanctity of space wishing to see something supernatural. These vibrations are transmitted to cells throughout the whole body and the brain begins to gradually increase in its frequency. If the frequency of the vibrations reaches the frequency of sunlight, then the material world begins to disappear from before it and a transparent and ethereal world appears in, it, in the person's eyes. And without losing anything of the mental state, it departs from three-dimensionality, reality, and falls into the ethereal form. When the frequencies of the body surpass the frequencies of the solar spectrum, the person enters the transcendental reality in another dimension and is in direct contact in full consciousness with the transcendental world. If the person is not scared and able to control the state in which he has come, then he can travel to the universe with this physical body, with his physical body, and has moved into another dimension and vice versa to enter the material world. This source is from the Supreme Imitation, initiated by G. Kaloyerakis, and the picture of the, uh, not the Acropolis of Athens, but the other one is the Temple of Apollo, Ilatis in Curion, and it's in Limassol in uh, Cyprus, by Nikos Castañas. This here, as we see, this is a picture of the temple in Limassol, in Cyprus. This is the first time I've ever heard of this, but the people that have written about this are supposedly knowledgeable. I don't know what proof they have of this. Perhaps they have uh, writings, ancient writings of ancient Greeks that claim that this is possible. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.